Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Forever Brandon TV coming back to you guys with another video, guys. As you know, we are finna get ready and wrap up the end of the year. But guys, I just wanted to talk about one of my new favorite Netflix shows, Stranger Things. Guys, oh my goodness, I've been hearing a lot about this show. And when I finally look at it on Netflix, I just decided, hmm, it's time for me to just get this damn review because I really, really love this show. I really love the direction that it's going. It just reminds me of a Stephen King, Wes Craven at the same time type of show. Like, it just really has a little bit of it. It has a little bit of carry. It has a little bit of just the storyline is just so amazing. If you guys know Winona Ryder, who is one of my favorite actresses, guys, she also played on Edward Scissorhands. Uh, she is amazing in this show. She's just really, really, really powerful in this show but let me get into the storyline guys when i think about the name of the, the the show i think about stephen king instantly okay uh i'm hearing that they're gonna be doing a a season two or something like that in july of 2017 but guys i can't wait but anyway i'm late on this show because everyone has been talking about this show guys i get this show a 10 out of 10 the storyline goes if, if many of you don't know how the storyline goes the storyline goes about a young boy who disappears and a vanishing like a vanishing light he, he went into another dimension basically he was running from this ugly no face creature or something like that guys it's just amazing okay then the mother is looking for the child as she's looking for the child uh her her son all of her all of the boy's friends you know uh, are kind of like worried and scared and then the mother just feels her son's spirit like she just can feel that he's still alive and guys uh uh the the the, the chief cop you know, is also helping you out. A lot of people think that the mother is crazy, saying that she can feel his his spirit around. And I just really like the fact how they added just a a, 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 a twist to this show. Like at first, it started off like, hmm, okay, we didn't know what it, whether the which way the the show will go. But then a little later on into the show, it just gives it just gives you a supernatural feel. It kind of gives you a little charm. It kind of gives you a little uh carry. You know, you know, you got this girl who has telekinet telekinesis and telepathy. And then it's just guys, it's just amazing. The effects are amazing. Uh if I can remember some of the characters' names, I would I, I would, but I just know how the storyline goes. You got these three friends who Got this pack. They're playing this video game. This, I mean, well, not necessarily a video game, but just this little cardboard game or something like that. And you know, they, you know, they, you know, just they're just kids and getting into their fantasies as as children. And you just really, really get into the show because it has this. It also kind of gives me a little X Files as well. It gives me X Files. It just gives me everything. The storyline is amazing. You got this girl. Now, I do remember the girl with the telekinesis. She's probably one of my favorite characters on this show. Her name is Eleven on the show. Okay. She is, you know, she's supposed to be the one that's supposed to find the boy, you know, as he's been missing, you know, for a whole entire week. And, guys, I just really, really love just how they just really put this show together. Just everything about it is amazing. The storyline, the twists, the uh, everything. You guys know I like the supernatural stuff. Uh, it's just it's just amazing. The ugly monster is is trying to get people and take people and put them into a different upside down land or something like that. And it's just amazing, guys. You really have to get into it if you haven't seen the show. You guys will see it. Uh, uh, the show is amazing. I can't wait for season two. I'm just so ecstatic for what else is in store. I've been watching it. I am only got a couple of more episodes in, but I just decided to give this review and just tell you guys what I think about it. When Nona Ryder is on the show, if I had to name a few other people who were on the show, also the Duffer Brothers are the creators. I've never really heard of them. Uh, even in the show, you even kind of get a little ET when when you see the the the, the three friends. They ride bikes a lot. You know, you just get a lot of bit of everything in this show. You just get a lot of supernatural. You get insidious. You get just everything. You get spirit calling. You just get it all. And I just really really love it. Uh, it, it just it's just outstanding. I really think that they should put probably put it to MTV or something like that because it just really really needs to be a a more mainstream show you know uh it just it's just amazing it fits right up there with x files outer limits 
And, you know, all of, all the great shows with the Twilight Zone, it just has all of those in this show, and it's just outstanding, okay? Uh, just amazing. If I had to, I'm trying to remember the characters. Uh, you got David Harbour, uh, who's playing Jim Hopper. Jim Hopper is also, okay, he's also uh, a, a good um a good uh, character in the show. Uh, you got uh, just a young kids. Uh, you got uh, Natalie Dyer who's playing Nancy. She's also been one of my favorite characters. You got Caleb McLaughlin who is Lucas, who is the 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 energetic child on the show. One of the energetic children on the show. You got Karen Re uh, Wheeler. Um, I think that's one of them. I think I believe that's the mom. Forgive me if I'm wrong. I believe that's the mom. Then you got just a lot of people just in the show to just bring this show together. Uh, 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 just the, the the twist and everything. You know, uh, one of the things I like about the show that kind of reminds me of Firestarter uh, was when the girl um, Eleven, which is her name, Eleven. She every time she does one of her powers, her nose instantly starts to bleed. I don't know where they came up with that idea from, but it just reminds me of Firestarter and Carrie. And it just has all that, all all that good stuff, guys. You guys will enjoy this show. The show is called Stranger Things. I don't want to keep you guys too long, but the twists are amazing. You know, even when Winona Ryder was trying to find her son on the show, she even wrote the letters in paint. You know, she wrote all the alphabetical letters in paint. Ways, you know, it's just it's just a, a a perfect little tale about a mother trying to find her son. You know, it also kind of gives that part kind of reminds me of uh, Poltergeist, where the where, where the lights speak as the mother is trying to um, look for her son. The, the 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 lights speak as the son is speaking. You know, the lights speak for the son. You know, and uh, it's just it's just amazing. It's just it's just a. a, a epically amazing show. It's well put together. It should have been a movie, okay? Because it got all these different... Steven Spielberg. It just has Steve, It just has all these people in this one show. Like, they really, really cutting it up. You know, uh, even the girl Nancy, that, that part just kind of reminds me a little bit of A Nightmare on Amstreet. Street. The mother and the daughter are getting into it. Uh, it's just so many stuff I can name about the show, but the, the twist is amazing. I don't want to give everything away just for people who don't know about the show. I'm just giving you bits and pieces of what I think about the show and how I think the show really stands out. Stranger Things is just just an epically amazing show. You guys got to check it out. This is Forever Brandon TV signing off. I hope you guys enjoy it.